How's it going guys? Mask here. Now today I'm going to do something a little different. It's sort of the start of something new. I'm going to, we're doing a hero review. Now this is something that somebody suggested in, a, in a, the comment section down below one of my videos and I really liked it and uh, we're going to try it out. Uh, by the way guys, I always read the comments. I really appreciate your feedback at any time and I will absolutely appreciate your feedback about this video. Any suggestions on how I should format it differently, things I missed I, I missed adding to the video, or if you simply disagree on my opinions on any heroes, get the conversation going in the comments down below. I love it. Please do. I'll, I'll read, I read everything and I answer as, man, as many as I can. That being said, today's hero is Elektra. I think, now I think Elektra is a hero that largely has missed the spotlight. Let's jump in here. Uh, before we, before we do it super quick here, my... One of my daily video traditions is doing our free summon. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I do it before I record, but uh, one of these days it's gonna be an SSR. And it's not. All right, Dr. Moral, get us out of here. You wasted our time. Now, we'll jump into heroes, and I'm going to go, I think the best place to do this from is definitely gonna be the hero talent section. So we're ready. So I can just open it up. Electra. Now, Electra is a tank. And has a has a fan. Her, her skill set's great. Her uh, her first skill is really the bread and butter of her kit. Inflicts damage equal to 100% of attack to one target. 45% chance to taunt for one turn. 35% chance to inflict damage equal to 20% of attack to enemies right next to the target. Now this is fantastic. And uh, when this is maxed out, so if you get this to Blazing Touch level five, it becomes 60% chance to taunt, I believe and for two turns so actually leveling this skill up her for skill ups on electra her first skill unlike most other heroes where you pretty much always max her third skill electra's first skill is your top priority for skill ups because this is going to increase the chance of taunting and the duration and all of a sudden electra becomes this absolute crazy pve tank electra is still much much better for pve she shines She'll, she's one of the biggest contributors to getting you through like the Sid dungeon, um, the the new Kali dungeon, Kali Advent dungeon. Electra does phenomenal a phenomenal job in there. She keeps her units. She tanks so well on the boss and such. It's just she does she is almost a completely necessary hero to get you through some of the harder PVE content in this game. She does she does very well in PVP. But the new uh, Claude, the new hero that came out, is most certainly better than her when it comes to PvP. Uh, her second skill, Fire Incarnate. Her she, uh, she becomes Fire Incarnate for two turns and has a 100% chance to grant damage immunity to all allies for one turn. 40% chance to burn for 30% of attack to all enemies for two turns. And uh, uh, to uh, of attack to all enemies for two turns. Cool. 40% chance. And... Electra's Breath level 1, uh, th her third skill inflicts penetration damage equal to 120% of attack to all enemies, 35% chance to decrease their attack by 30% for two turns. Now, so it's a low percent chance, but her ult, the, the best thing about her ult, the damage is, is nothing. The best thing about her her skill 3, her, I usually call that your ult, is her, thir is her attack decrease. If you get the attack break, it really helps take pressure off your team. And of course, she has a leader skill similar to Ruby's, but the fire version. If you have a full mono five-person fire team, she's boosting your, your team's attack by 60%. That can definitely make a difference. Now, as far as Electra's suggested runes, uh, suggested runes go, I'm going to jump over to my Ramu really quick, because these, are, these runes I'm probably going to actually take off her and put onto Electra, because this is exactly how you should ruin Electra. I mean, these runes, these runes were actually pretty much custom built for her. Um, I actually forgot to take a look at her passives. Let's go back there real quick. Before I jump onto runes, let's finish hero talents. So on Electra, your first option here, you have 50% chance to taunt one enemy for two turns when using skill three. Now your skill three is on such a long cooldown and she's already taunting with skill one. That 50% chance to add a little bit more to skill 3 just does not add up in my mind. Uh, elemental Suppression. This only decreases uh, elemental disadvantage damage. So I, I never choose 
the uh, elemental, decrease elemental damage taken by 30%. The only time I ever choose this is if I'm building a character just for boss dungeons, because then you know they're always going to be fighting. Uh, actually, that's wrong, because that, they're not fighting at a disadvantage then, they're always fighting at an advantage. Like, you bring water characters into the fire dungeon. So that wouldn't even be then. I don't... It would, it would have to be such a specific purpose for me to want to uh, take this, but... Oops. Uh, the... It's not gonna... Anyhow, the... So, yeah. Fortified armor, 20%, 20 defense increase. That's a no-brainer. You're always gonna run that on Electra. Now, this depends on where you plan on using her the most. When I first got her, it was... I, de I definitely needed her in the arena. This, I'm probably going to change over to decrease damage taken from bosses soon, just because... I'm going to be wanting to use her in Arena more. 50% chance to reflect damage for two turns when using skill two. This is tough. Like, I, I'm I'm definitely going to go with uh, decreased damage taken in either the Arena or bosses. Wherever you feel like you're using her the most, this is, a, this is always a toss-up. There's a good argument to be made that once your hero gets strong enough by getting them their purple stars or just having really good runes, you don't need that... On this, on this talent, you don't need that decreased damage from bosses anymore because you don't have a problem clearing the PvE content. And at that point, it will always be beneficial for you to have the arena talent. That being said, it does have to be, if you, it does have to be a, a unit that you actually plan on using in arena. So if you know you're never going to use it in arena, go ahead, grab the decreased damage from boss. But you're probably going to want to uh, keep it on arena if you have any thoughts of using it there. Now, in the fit level 54 skill tree, we have the choice between Weapon Mastery, which is 10% increased attack. Electra ain't really doing... She's not really your damage dealer. She's not going to be pumping the damage out. That, and just for the exact same reason... No, here, it's the elemental damage increase that you, can, you would take on characters you plan on using for world bosses. Because you're always at an elemental advantage, so you'll be doing even more elemental damage so this is and this is a damage increase which happens at the end of your calculation using your attack 10 percent attack let's say you have, you have a skill that does 300 percent of your attack so you you have 10 percent attack bonus which means it's actually doing 30 percent attack bonus if, if the skill has a 300 percent multiplier so this would increase your damage by 30 percent yes but 15 percent elemental damage increase calculates at the end of that process so it takes your your attack which is 100 percent of your attack your skill multiplies that by three 300 percent and then this is going to take that 300 percent and boost it by another 15 which actually ends up being 45 percent more damage if you're fighting the world boss so you'll take elemental enhancement if you're raising up a character just for the world boss but that's really not where electra is going to shine even if you were using her for world boss because 50% chance to decrease one enemy's attack by 30% when using skill 1. Because you use skill 1 on all multi-attacks, all counter-attacks, and of course, whenever everything's on cooldown, and 50% is huge! So you're getting attack breaks all over the place by bringing suppression. Now that, for me, that's absolutely the best skill in the, in the 54 range for Electra. So if we go into 56, we have Gladi Gladiator's Determination. Increased damage dealt. Once again, Electra not really doing damage. Not really doing damage. So, 20% chance to grant protection to one ally for one turn when attacked. This is phenomenal, especially when you're taking her into the super hard advent dungeons as she really shines in there. When she gets those protections up, she's carrying your team through those dungeons. In fact, and probably, let's hit this. Boom! Yes! Yes! That's so good! Let's go! Upgraded. So, and now, moving down to the 58, we got 15% uh, counterattack chance increase. Now, Electra, at her 60 talent, let's jump down to it really quick, guaranteed counterattack upon taking critical strike damage. This really, really takes away from you wanting to actually build counterattack on her, because you're already guaranteed to counterattack when you take critical strike damage. So you, it's worth way more to pump multi-strike into Electra than counterattack because she already has, uh, when she's crit, 
against, she will already guaranteed counterattack. So any counterattack stats you have were completely wasted in all of those situations. So that's why uh, I wouldn't go counterattack. I wouldn't go crit strike because Electra doesn't need to crit. Like this, this is crit strike. She's still doing not much damage regardless. So, so we have Supreme Shield. If you get this max, it is a 10% chance to grant damage immunity for two turns when attacked. This is a fantastic skill. Still level two. Still level two. Level three. Oh my gosh, that was actually sweet. <laughs> that was so lucky. Uh, damage taken arena. I won't re-roll that one because I don't actually know if it's what I want in that slot. But I pretty much just perfected her talents. I'm so happy about that. So let's jump. Uh, now that I've reviewed and kind of talked about counterattack, that's why I want to do this before the ruins. Uh, the runes. Come on. Remember. Runes. Ruin. Rune. Ruin. Rune. I'm going to get this for you guys. I promise. I'm trying so hard. I, I, even ask, you got to ask the people who watched my last live stream. I sat there and I was like, okay, moving on. Let's jump over to Ramu really quick because these runes are what I want to have on Electra because they're perfect. In slot six, multi-strike. Literally max multi-strike is a perfect rune for her here because multi-strike means you're hitting a target, you're hitting another target, and you're stacking more taunts. And that's what you're bringing her on a team for. Taunt, taunt, taunt. Now, slot five, uh, I've been, been talking to people now the evasion, evasion as a stat is next to useless in PvP because people get a, a accuracy so easily on runes. Even though you don't want to have accuracy on runes, they're usually just there. But the other problem is people get accuracy naturally just from adding purple stars to their heroes. So evasion is not going to help you in PvP like basically at all because it's so hard to get, get it in, in your runes. And people just have accuracy too naturally to ca cancel out the evasion and from what i understand accuracy and evasion go hand in hand and uh, counter each other so that being said in slot five hp recovery is going to be the best thing you can get for electra in slot five you have evasion attack counter attack hp recovery and accuracy we talked about why counter attack is not worth investing on electra just because she does not benefit from it every time she's hit with a critical strike. So that makes evasion and HP recovery are the only two to really talk about here. Now, evasion is going to help you in PvE content, and that is primarily what Electra is going to shine above all in. She is so crucial part of any team trying to clear the end game advent dungeons like Sid or Kali, and having evasion in here is going to be much better than HP recovery because you're going to spend most of your time poisoned or bleeding in those dungeons anyway, so the HP recovery is not helping. But if you manage to stack up 8 to 10% evasion and you're dodging 1 in every 10 attacks, that's fantastic. That's actually going to benefit you much more in that PvE content. So HP recovery is going to be the easiest thing here to have, but I would suggest on this one slot for Electra specifically, not and because she shines so much in pve evasion would be fantastic to have you had a triple evasion ruin here or even evasion evasion hp recovery that would be a good uh, that would probably be an improvement to the slot five otherwise throw on hp recovery and you're gonna love it anyway uh slot in slot four you have evasion attack multi-strike counter attack hp recovery one thing i would consider putting in slot four instead of hp recovery or maybe mixed in with it would be multi-strike here but uh hp recovery is it's just as good the problem with it simply is you spend 70 to 80 percent of your time poisoned in those hard dungeons so multi-strike would be would be great here it would help guarantee you're applying taunts you could have triple multi-strike from from this slot and this is approximately what 7 14 21 we could get another another 21 percent multi-strike chance from over here and then all of a sudden you should be at about yeah, plus 20, you have a natural 5, so we'd be at 45% multi-strike, and that would be awesome. This is, I know this is Ramu, but these, these are the runes I would convert over to Electra. Slot 3, slot 1, 2, and 3, 
you just want to stack HP increase. It should be triple HP, triple HP, triple HP. Slot three, I just so happen to have an HP, HP, HP recovery just because I didn't have triple HP and this is sort of just here. Now, as far as the ruin sets go, you definitely want uh, double, rune of double rune of protection, uh, double rune of life. Now, I've, I've considered running two, four, six rune of protection ruins, just a uh, rune of protection because defense is so hard to come by and uh with hp increase substats coming out of our ears we're already getting a ton of hp so that i haven't really experimented with but i'm, I'm sure it would probably work pretty well too temper getting that bonus 10 percent defense it does go hand in hand this seems to be the nice balance though and it's it is what everyone is using so I, before i do these uh hero reviews i go through the arena and I look about everyone in the top 50 and check whoever had Electra. I looked at their, their rune builds. Every single one of them was double rune of life, quadruple rune of protection. So this is the way to go. HP recovery, you're focusing on multi or HP number one. I would say HP recovery number two, but pretty close to multi strike coming in at number three. And uh, I would avoid counter attack on Electra because it's, it's just, you're getting way less out of it no matter what if you had to choose your i would choose hp recovery hp or multi-strike over counter-attack so that's the runes uh the runes <laughs> and uh hero they went over the hero talents went over the hero talent list enhancements i mean that that just comes from and this is on the wrong character at the moment enhancements is, is there's nothing really important about them that's you get your purple stars when you can and uh the hero talents we went through the whole list that's great i feel like there's one last thing i wanted to touch on and uh that was oh her natural passive that's the one that's, that one's not listed in her actual talent list so she has a 50 percent chance to burn the attacker for 30 percent of attack for two turns when attacked recovers 20 percent hp at the start of the turn and has what Recovers 20% HP at the start of the turn and has a 100% chance to reflect damage equal to 50% attack upon upon attack if the caster is Fire Incarnate. So that's phenomenal. I never realized she had a 20% HP recover at the start of the turn as well. That's really cool, and that's one of her passives. I overlooked that completely. Not that again is a reason. HP increase. Get it on there. Stack it up. She's healing so much naturally every single turn. I'm actually uh, excited to get those Ramu ruins on Electra. I had totally underestimated how great she was. I knew she was good, but like after doing a kind of an in-depth look at her, I, I, I'm remembering and fully realizing that she is just such a powerful unit. But uh, that's that's my highlight of Electra. I think we fully went over it. Um, I greatly, as this is the first hero review video I've done, I, I appreciate any feedback you guys have. It, whether it be positive, negative, regardless of what it is, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, or anything from the order of how I how I went through things. Uh, if I missed anything, if you disagree with anything, especially, let's get a conversation going down here. Let's any anything you want to talk about that involves Electro or Knights Chronicle in general, throw it in the comments down below. I'll read them. I respond to as many as I can. And uh, yeah, guys, until tomorrow. Stay tuned for the next video. Check the description. The, yeah, check the description down below the video for my Facebook and my Twitter. That's how you're gonna know when new content's coming out. And uh, of course, my friendly reminder to check out Blue Stacks, a great way to play Knights Chronicle on your computer. Take advantage of that computer processing power that your phone doesn't have, and of course, save your phone battery. The first thing in the description, there's gonna be a link there to download Blue Stacks install Knights Chronicle and get everything up and running super quick and easy for you. And it does help me out every time you use that link. So I really appreciate it guys. But uh, that's pretty much everything I got for you today. Smash that subscribe button. It should be a mask up on the screen right about here. Ah, probably more like on that side. But uh, thanks for checking it out guys. See you again tomorrow. Stay classy.